So here we have a PS2 keyboard. It's obviously quite large. Um, you wouldn't want to carry this around with you unless you were wanting to make some kind of new fashion statement, but uh, for this demonstration, it serves its purpose quite well. Uh, you'll notice that it connects here through our adapter into our control box uh, and then through the audio port <clears throat> and the application's running. Uh, it receives text from the keyboard, so I can type. Zoom in on that, as you can see. Keep that zoomed in and type again. Rather, rather responsive. All the keys are available. You can hold down a key. Uh, we'll do this here. We'll hold that one down. You can backspace. Um, again, all through the audio input. Um, here's our control box. Quite small, just a handful of components. Just can make this quite smaller. Um, probably the size of a Tic Tac box, if not smaller. Um, because we're using Serial, uh, we hope this will work on the next generation uh, software development kit from Apple. Um, additionally, you'll notice here this our connector uh, is just simply PS2, so uh, there are adapters available USB uh, to PS2, so a USB keyboard, for example, would work. I know there are some small USB keyboards that are available. Um, again, really, this is just a prototype to kind of illustrate the kind of functionality that's available already on the 2.0 platform. Uh, if you would like to learn more about what we're doing on the iPhone, you can visit our website at alexwinston.com. We'll be very interested in hearing from you, providing your comments and your feedback.